Awesome Screenshot is a powerful extension that can help you and your students capture content on their screens in video or photo formats. Additionally, you can mark up and edit this content for instructional purposes, projects, and more. Once you have the extension installed, you'll have the little icon in the upper right hand corner that activates the extension. Click on that and you see some options. Under the Record tab, you can choose to save the video to the cloud or locally on your computer. You can toggle the microphone on or off and select which microphone you want to use, if you have multiple choices. You can toggle the camera on or off to embed it in your recording, and you can adjust the maximum resolution for the project. To start recording, click the blue button and when prompted, choose what you want to record. Keep in mind that the free version has some limitations, including a limit of 20 videos in the cloud and 5 minutes of recording time. Under the Capture tab, you can choose which part of the screen or page you want to select. You can also decide if you want to capture after a delay, screenshot the entire screen in App Window, or annotate a local or copied image. Again, because you are using a free account, there are some limitations, but you should be able to get by. Here's an example of taking a screenshot of an entire page, even beyond what you can see in your window. This is a long article from Newzella, and as you can see, I can scroll all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to go up to the extension, select the Capture tab, and then Full Page. I let Awesome Screenshot do its thing, and when it's complete, it will open the image in the editor. At the top, you see all the tools available to you. You can choose which tools you want to use to mark up the image. When you are done, click on Done. Once you are done, you get brought to the Sharing Saving screen. You can download the image, export as a PDF, print it, or copy it to your clipboard. With the free version, you can easily save it to Google Drive, but first you need to connect Awesome Screenshot to your Google Drive account. To do that, You'll first go to awesomescreenshot.com, then click on Settings. You'll first be brought to your profile. On the left, click on Cloud Drive Service. Then click on Connect an Account. Choose Google Drive, then click on Connect with Google Drive. Select your account or sign in. Click Allow for the prompts given. Then you'll see that your Google Drive account is connected. Now we can go back to that image we were marking up and save it to Google Drive. I recommend saving it to the Awesome Screenshot folder. Further, I'd recommend clicking the Get Shareable link. To copy a link, you can share with others. Then click Upload, and when it's finished, click Copy. There are some additional settings you might be interested in adjusting if you click on the gear in the extension window. Customize those you feel necessary, or feel free to leave them alone.